Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to compare the Huawei P50 Pro against the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So let's get started. So on very first glance they look pretty similar in size but indeed uh, this is a bit deceiving because the uh, P50 Pro is a bit larger than the P40 Pro. So let's uh, unlock the device and you will see that we have also a difference in terms of cameras on the front. We have basically two cameras. One is an infrared camera built into a pill shape camera cutout on the front and we have a single punch hole on the P50 Pro here. From the display both uh, feature OLED display. I think the same resolution is stretched full HD display resolution and uh, in terms of brightness they are also getting pretty bright and they have uh, very much the same kind of dis good display panel. I think the P50 Pro has a bit of a better uh, display panel with 120 Hz instead of only 90 Hz on the P40 Pro Plus. In terms of brightness I think the P50 Pro goes a bit of brighter than the P40 Pro but it is uh, just a matter of a few margins. When we take a look around the device we will see that we have the same button layout, a power button and a volume rocker on both with the accent red color. It's a bit smaller on the P50 Pro than on the P40 Pro. In general the P40 Pro Plus feels a bit thicker than the P50 Pro. That might be also due to the bigger larger camera system that we have on the back. You can see that this one has one, two, three, four cameras, LED flash and uh, 3D time of flight sen sensor as well. And this one has three, four sensors as well, plus another 3D time of flight sensor, color sensor array and LED flash. Uh, when it comes to the sensors used here, it's almost the same, but different. So we have 50 megapixel main sensors here, on both devices, this one and this one, which are different as I heard now. Before I thought it's both AMX 700, but there are some rumors going on that there's like maybe they are mixing stuff up. So some devices are AMX 700s, some others got the Omnivision uh, 50A um, like on here. Probably it is the Omnivision 50A. I have to say when you take photos side by side you really don't see a difference when taking with the main sensor in terms of colors maybe a slight difference but i thought it might be the color sensing uh, technology on the p50 pro that might help here otherwise when you take photos it's almost identical and you don't see much of a difference even on close-ups there's maybe a slight difference but you can tell me in the comment section what do you think about this um yeah being slightly different sensor. Then we have a 40 megapixel Cine camera here, the same as on the Mate 40 Pro that is missing here. We have an ultra wide 13 megapixel 13 millimeter uh, camera here, probably also Omnivision in this case. Then we have a telezoom camera and uh, this is I think, uh, what is it, 16 megapixel or 13 megapixels as well. Uh, which allows for 10 times optical zoom, which is a huge difference to the periscope telezoom here, which allows only um, 3.5 times zoom. It's a 64 megapixel sensor. But we have also a three times zoom here on the P40 Pro without a periscope uh, to it, which is also pretty cool in this case. So what we will do now is uh, do some, I will do some videos on the back cameras and on the front cameras so we can compare a little bit more in terms of um, video and photos and then I will do some smaller speed tests but you can of course guess already Kirin 990, Kirin 9000 that the Kirin 9000 will be a bit quicker than the Kirin 990 but we will see uh, who will win here in this comparison. So let's start first with the cameras. 
So, this is the Huawei P40 Pro Plus ultra wide angle 4K 60 frames per second. If you see on YouTube now, it's 1080p 60 frames per second because it is downscaled from 4K. I don't want to do the YouTube processing and wait for two days for it to process 4K. So, uh, you get only a glimpse of what the quality is then now with 1080p 60 frames per second. Uh, this is the Cinecam, the default camera that you can get. Uh, videos on the P40 Pro Plus, but you can also switch to the main camera while recording, which is pretty cool. So if I'm 4K 60 frames per second, I can just go here to one times. And now I'm using the one times 50 megapixel large 1 over 1.2 free uh, inch sized sensor, which has a nice creamy bokeh in the background. So this one is also working pretty nice indeed. And how are the colors in this dimly lit situations, uh, situation and uh, what do you think about the video quality of the main cameras on the back? And now we have the Huawei P50 Pro here, the main camera lens, 4K 60 frames per second. It's the only one that can do 4K 60 frames per second because the ultra wide angle can only do 4K 30 frames per second. So I will show you in a minute the ultra wide angle as well. But what do you think about this dimly lit situation with light from above, indoors, background is still bokeh, creamy enough. What do you think about the image quality of this video? The ultra wide angle lens 4K 30 frames per second on the Huawei P50 Pro. What do you think about the quality of this one? Is it worth losing 4K 60 frames per second for getting the ultra wide angle field of view, especially for vlogging type scenarios? What do you think? You can write it down in the comment section. Now again, the bookshelf uh, zoom test basically. So what we see here is a Huawei P50 Pro and this is one time zoom. And now let's see how far I can zoom in. So let's go to the 3.5, which is now 3.5. I didn't see it switching the lens. That's now it switched the lens. Now we are at 5.5. And uh, yeah, you can still read everything, I think. And now let's go up to 10 times, which is the maximum for 4K 60 frames per second. I think the shaking is a bit noticeable and it's getting a bit unsharp. Zoom out to eight times. It was sharper before. No, now it's sharper at eight times. Zoom in a bit more. Huh? It's sharp again at 10 times, as you can see here. When I start moving, I think it gets a bit unsharp, but you can still read the text without issues. 4K 30 frames per second now on the P50 Pro to see how it's changed in terms of uh, zoom capabilities. This is now four times, switch the lens. This is now eight times. I don't see it being uh, a bit sharper. This is now, this is now 15 times zoom. I think it's getting better now. And I cannot zoom in any further. So this is 15 times zoom in terms of video 4K 30. So the P40 Pro Plus can go a bit closer. And I think it is a bit sharper, but you can tell me in the comment section what you think about this zoom test in terms of video. And what was wrong with the sharpness here? It's yeah, it looks like horrible. It's not sharp at all. So I'm not sure what's wrong here in this zoom stages. Weird. Here we are on the P40 Pro Plus. This is one time zoom, 4K 60 frames per second. Let's see how we can zoom in. This is three times. This is five times. This is eight times. I don't see it switching lenses and this is 10 times. So it might be that in video mode 4K 60, you cannot switch through the lenses and it's only using the main sensor. Let's try out 4K 30. Now we are at 4K 30 on the P40 Pro Plus and this is one time. 
let's zoom in to now it's five times roughly and uh, now we can zoom into eight times there we have eight times roughly still readable i would say i think it switched now the lens to the three times zoom lens can it go up even further now it switched to the 10 times zoom lens and i can go further in 4k 30 frames per second now i'm th at 13 times zoom and i can go even further as you can see here to 30 times zoom and it looks pretty pretty sharp as you can see here so now 4k 60 frames per second on the front facing camera of the huawei p50 pro and how does it work how does it look like how is dynamic range and this is the p40 uh, pro plus that i have here in my hands how is uh, focusing with this uh, front camera lens i think it should work fine because it has a focusing uh, option here it's a bit dark let's put it maybe like this and yeah i think it should focus on the phone now maybe i can show something else on the phone my glorious wallpaper here that i have on the phone and you can see the various different applications that i have here it looks mirrored to me so maybe i have to mirror it again uh, anyway this is the front facing camera 4k 60 frames per second on the p50 pro now 4k 60 frames per second on the huawei p40 pro plus and how does this look like it should have auto focusing as well so is it grabbing my uh, p50 pros uh, nice aod screen and let me unlock it and you can see myself then here inception like i have the slight feeling that the p40 pro plus's front camera might be a bit better you can see focusing is working nicely and uh, yeah i think in, in terms of focusing it might work a bit nicely but it doesn't have this wide field of view that the uh, uh, p50 pro has here how's dynamic range i think the window here in the background is a bit overblown and uh, this is something that we don't have on the p50 pros uh, front camera video but you can write down in the comment section which of those front camera videos you like better this is now the p50 pro's front camera zoomed in to one times because you have the option to also zoom in this compares a bit more to the p40 i would say and uh, yeah the focusing should work then as well fine uh, like on the p40 pro plus so maybe it's just a placebo and because the photo length is a bit different on the front camera of the p50 uh, that i think that focusing works a bit better or you get more bokeh on the p40 pro plus because it has not such a wide angle kind of lens but you can get closer with focusing which you cannot do on the p40 pro plus's front cam at the top we will see that the p50 has a speaker there besides the infrared and two microphones and on the p40 pro plus we see infrared and microphone only and on the bottom we see the second speaker on the p50 pro and only one speaker mono speaker on the p40 pro plus usb type c 3.1 3.2 uh, microphone and the sim slot hidden here and uh, both feature dual sim and hybrid nano memory card expansion and uh, on the other side we have nothing basically they look the same and this is the overall experience around the device so here now the speed comparison test uh, let's try out the fingerprint scanners one two three and you can see the p50 pro is slightly a bit faster in opening up the phone and locking the phone one two three and again the p50 pro slightly bit faster let's check out some applications 9 gig for example one two three and to my surprise the p50 pro was quicker uh, but uh, not by much and i think this one had something in memory because it was loading some old cached stuff let's try antenna port one two three and again like a slight delay on the p40 pro plus and directly reacting on the p50 pro let's try out the app gallery one two three 
and here we have some advertisements here not but in general I think almost at the same time let's try some file application one two three and again a bit of a delay on the p40 pro plus and instant instantaneously on the p50 pro YouTube one two three and again a little bit quicker on the p40 the p50 pro and a bit slow on the p40 pro plus so in general the performance you get a faster quicker device with a faster quicker refresh rate on the p450 pro and you get a solid um, high-end performance on the p40 pro plus still even in 2021 let's try to see who is quicker in exporting a video so on the top we have the p40 pro plus on the bottom we have the p50 both exporting in full HD uh, 30 frames per second and the same bitrate 8.5 uh, 1 2 and 3 so we'll see that the p50 pro is definitely quicker than the p40 pro plus you can see it is ready already and it's like twice as fast almost as the p40 pro plus when it comes to exporting videos which is uh, quite interesting and it is the same experience that i have when uh, using other videos on those devices so which device is better the p40 pro plus or the p50 pro you can write down in the comment section what do you think about those two devices especially as the p40 pro and pro plus is available globally already and the prices are going a bit down and the p50 pro is not yet available and the prices are higher it's only available in china right now so you have to import it so it gets a bit higher even more so what do you think about those two devices which one is the clear winner is the higher price really necessary to have a good flagship device in 2021 or is the flagship from last year still good enough for 2021 more on this in the comment section i like to hear your opinion this is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you want to support independent content creators that do tests like these then subscribe please so this helps me to reach out to companies to send me samples so i can do more independent testing this is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye